Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers up to 200. Now as we've done in some previous tutorials we're going to begin with the number line. This is the best way to have a quick recap of what we've done so far. Our number line starts at 0 and we're going to keep going 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that is our number line. Running from number 0 to 9. And now what we're going to do is we're going to populate this number line with all the odd numbers and the even numbers. Now do you recall how we did this before? We start at 0. Is 0 an odd number or an even number? That's right, 0 is an even number. And now we count in 2's and all of those are the even numbers. So after 0 we have 2. After 2 it's 4. After 4 it's 6. And the last one is 8. Now we've done this before, so I'm sure you know this. All the other numbers are odd numbers. So let's put those in. So 1 is an odd number, and from 1 we count in 2's, and all of those will be the odd numbers. So after 1 it's 3. After 3 it's 5. After 5 it's 7. And the last one is 9. So those are all the odd and even numbers from 0 to 9. Once you know this, you can work out the odd and even numbers for any number. Let's have a quick recap over here. So we're going to write down all the even numbers over here. From the number line, we've got 0. And don't forget, count in 2's. 2, 4, 6, and the last one is 8. And next to it, we're going to write down the odd numbers. The odd numbers are 1, and then count in 2's. 3, 5, 7, 9. So there we have it. We've got all the odd and even numbers in two columns. Now let's have a look at the examples we're going to go through. Now suppose we have this number here. We've got 124. So we've got 124. How are we going to work out whether this is an odd number or an even number? Well, this is quite simple. What we're going to do is we're going to ignore the first two digits. So all we're going to look at is the units one over here. That's the units, 4. These two, it doesn't matter. They could be any numbers. All we have to concentrate on is the last digit. That is the 4. And where is 4 on our list, whether it's an odd number or an even number? Can you find it? That's right, it's over here. 4 is an even number. So 124 becomes an even number. Right, let's have a look at the next example. Suppose this time we've got 137. So now we've got 137. Now again, we're going to ignore these first two. We're just going to concentrate on the last one, the 7. The 7 is the unit. The 1 and the 3 could be any numbers. Just look at the 7. Can you find the 7 on the in either of the columns on the left? Have you found it? That's right, 7 is over here. And 7 is an odd number. It's red, it's an odd number. If 7 is an odd number, then the number 137 is also an odd number. The next one, 162. Now what do you think 162 is? 
or 162. Again, we're going to ignore the first two digits. All we are interested in is the last one, the units, the two. Now, what is the two? Is it odd or even? The two is over here. It's an even number. So, if two is an even number, then the number 162 is also even. It really is as simple as that. Let's work through one or two more questions, and I want you to work these out with me. Let's suppose we got this number here, 171. Now, what do you think this one is? Have you worked it out? Great. Now, let's go through this. We're going to look at the 1 here. The 1 is... Where does the 1 appear on the in the two columns? Well, the 1 appears over here. So, therefore, it's an odd number. And if 1 is an odd number, then the number 171 is also an odd number. The next one, 180. Now, what is 180? Is it an odd number or is it an even number? Have you worked it out? Quickly. Great. Let's go through this. Remember, all we're concentrating on is the digit on the right-hand side. In this case, it is 0. Ignore the 1 and the 8. We're not interested in those. Now, where does 0 appear in the columns? It's over here. And the 0 is an even number. If 0 is an even number, then 180 is also an even number. Right, the last one, 199. So what do you think 199 is? Is it an odd number or is it an even number? Have you worked it out? Great. We are concentrating on this digit over here. We're not worried about these 1 and 9. The last 9, the units, is what we're interested in. Where does that appear in our columns? It appears over here. Therefore, 9 is an odd number. And if 9 is an odd number, then 199 is also an odd number. And that is how we work out the odd and even numbers up to numbers up to number 200. As long as you know the odd and even from 0 to 9, this is very, very simple.